Hi Mark, um, wines are just about ready um, and as Jan's keen that we get more into the social media I thought I'd do you a wee video just to give you a preview of what I've done for you this time. Um, split the wines, eight and four here. Um, what you've got here are four single varietals, so you've got Cabernet Sauvignon, you've got Merlot, you have Pinotage and you have Shiraz. And over here we have two blends. Um, the Lyra Vega, which is a Bordeaux blend, and the Foundation Stone, which is a Rhone blend. I'll come back to that in a minute too. And then at the far end, we've got two single, other single varietal grapes, but ones which we perhaps don't find so often in the shops as some of these ones around here. So what I've done here is I've given you two examples of each. Um, the idea being that you get a chance to taste something very substantial, complex, complicated, um, and something which makes you stop, savour and ponder and then at the front you've got more wines which are more akin to everyday wines uh, rather than not so relative type wines. The exception to that being the Rickety Bridge Merlot, the place behind it is the Asara Merlot, uh, but given your comment with regard to Rickety Bridge and I wasn't sure whether you meant Rickety Bridge Merlot or Pinotage, um, so I thought I'd just put both of them in. Very briefly, I'll run through these then. So, two Cabernet Sauvignon, the La Caron Cabernet Sauvignon, lovely, um, I won't say simple because no wine is simple, but a lovely, easy to drink, very approachable wine. Then you've got an equally as easy to drink, uh, but incredibly comp complex wine in terms of the various layers, and that's the Asara Cabernet Sauvignon, which you've already alluded to, you've mentioned yourself that you liked. These two wines, Merlot, the Rickety Bridge Merlot, and the Asara Merlot. Again, um, the, the difference, the difference in, in, in class here, if you will, is negligible. Um, I think it's down to your personal preferences in terms of the wines. With regard to the Pinotage, we've got a new wine for you, which is to try, which is a Swartland Founders um, Pinotage, um, and we've, also, we've got the Rickety Bridge Pinotage. We've had the Rickety Bridge Pinotage before, again, another full substantial wine, very lovely mouthfeel. The Swartland's got a very beautiful mouthfeel, I think, um, but it's very juicy, slightly less full-bodied than the, uh, the Rickety Bridge. Rickety Bridge at 14.5, Perdue only 15%, the Swartland at 13%, so much more the sort of wine that you just open and drink without, without thinking. And then on to the Shirazes, and you've got the Orange River Shiraz, which falls into the everyday category, and then you've got one of my personal favourites, which is the Glenwood Shiraz. Smashing wine and the bloke that makes it is a smashing wine maker. So there you go, that's four single varietals, two of each. Move over to these ones uh, and what we've got over here two blends. Um, we've two blends initially. You've got Lyra Vega, um, the Orange River Lyra Vega from, uh, from Orange River, uh, surprisingly, um, which is a Bordeaux type blend, Cabernet, uh, Petit Verdot, Malbec. Uh, Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and a touch of Shiraz in there, but mainly sort of a Bordeaux type blend. Very interesting, complex wine with, again, lots of layers to chew through. The Foundation Stone is more of a Rhone type blend with um, the Verdra, Syrah, Shiraz um, being the main grapes in there. A bit of Tana as well, just to give you that little added robustness. Uh, lots of spices in that, in that particular wine. And the last two wines. Um, as I think, as I said a minute ago, the two grapes which you don't often see on their own in supermarkets: Grenache Noir, which is Garnacha in Spain, but Grenache in um, the Rhone, so you don't often see it in its on its own, um, and the Cabernet Franc, which is the um, which is the parent grape of Cabernet Sauvignon, um, and again you don't often see it made in its own except in uh, the Loire, where it's made in a very very light style. South Africa, the South Africans make it in a very serious, heavy, complicated and complex style. Um, so there you go, that's the wines that I've got set up for you. Um, I'll get them along to you either early, uh, late this afternoon or early evening or tomorrow whenever suits you best. Just waiting for Jan to, she's having a nap and she'll do your invoice and then I'll, yeah, I'll be ready to come along to you. If there's any you want checked out and swapped with one of the one or two of the other wines that you've had before, let me know, uh, get on that, let me know when you think it would be good to deliver them. Cheers. Bye.